In this Google Site segment, we will do a deep dive into some of the embedded elements. In the last video, I showed you how to insert embed code using a URL. Now we're going to look at how to use the embed code. In this example, I will choose a video that is hosted on the Vimeo website. When you click the share button on Vimeo, one of the options it gives you is embed code. When you select embed code and copy it, I can go from here back to my website and paste my embed code in the embed code tool. One of the main differences between using the URL versus the embed code is that the URL formats automatically and the embed code gives you more flexibility in your formatting. For example, I can change the width and the height, the frame border, autoplay, and some of the options that are available within the iframe HTML code. If you're not familiar with HTML code, in most cases, you can paste a URL and that will work. But if there are cases where you need to use embed code, just paste it in and click next and see what happens. And it may look exactly the way you want. I clicked insert without making any changes to the code and my video works. Another example is from the FET website. I went to the FET website and went to a simulation, copied the embed code and pasted it in. It looks like this. And now I have an interactive simulation from the FET website. Let's see how they work. And here's the FET simulation. Now let's take a deeper look at some of the other elements at the bottom of the insert menu. Generally speaking, you can click on any one of them and it will show you what to do. Like if I click on YouTube video, it will open the YouTube browser and I would do a search. And here's an introduction to Google Sites video. I click select. Make an adjustment, add as many videos as you want, and now they are part of the page. And just like when you check files to make sure they're shared, you would want to click on the YouTube video. So make sure you do a quality control check for your video, then click approve if you do approve it. In another example, we click on maps. We can search for a location, or we can click my maps to find a map I created in Google Maps. In this case, I will search for Baltimore, Maryland, Click select and I now have the map embedded on my website and it's not just an image of the map it is interactive let's view that now imagine what you could do to create interactive activities for students by including maps that are interactive on your website next to an activity for them to do possibly in Google Forms now let's have a look at the calendar option my calendars are pulled from my Google Classroom calendars and any calendars that I have created manually in Google Calendar let me choose a sample and insert it. And under the settings, we can go through the options to make the calendar appear the way that you want it to. For example, I might want to have it set to week view instead of agenda view. Now let's have a look at charts. When I click on the charts button, my Google Sheets files open in the side panel. I can go and select a sheets file that contains a chart and insert the chart. Here's an example. I will click on this click insert and it allows me to select from the charts in my Google Sheets file. In this case, I only have one. This embedded chart is still linked to the Google Sheets file. So any data that is collected in the Google Sheets file affects change on this chart. And just like all the other embedded elements, anything interactive with the chart works on my website. So that shows you the majority of the embedded elements that you can insert on your website using Google Sites. Go ahead and explore all these options and see what else you can do.